Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, uphold what you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union you have created may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. I invite you all to be seated now for our readings. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals. But none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, The man said, this one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Declare your mighty deeds. I 
supports all who fall and raises up those who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brother and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy, and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Now I invite you to be seated for a moment. Well, Greg and Lauren, obviously, we rejoice with you today for, for getting to this moment and uh, a moment that is going to uh, continue now for the rest of your lives. 
And as I warned you last night, I don't give long homilies for weddings because I want you to be able to remember it. Um, so I won't go on forever, but you do have it being video recorded so you can watch this over and over again. One thing that I like to do for weddings is give you one thing to really think about and to remember about today. And I know the thought that came to me in looking at uh, the readings that the two of you have chosen is that what begins today is something that is meant to last forever. Um, the love that brought you here is, is a very real love, um, and not just a love that's going to bring you together as husband and wife and to raise a family and be together in this life, but it's a love that's supposed to blossom into something else, something much more amazing, which uh, is a love that all of us hope that we can enjoy and uh, really be a part of in the heavenly kingdom because what we experience here is just a foretaste of what we're going to experience there. So I think that's a, a great thing to think about in conjunction with the things that were chosen because that's what we're made for. And so Jesus in the gospel is even saying uh, to those people who were with him, um, God has had a plan from the very beginning, not just a plan of uh, what the union of a man and woman is supposed to look like, but what it's supposed to do, what it's supposed to foster. As we know in Genesis, uh, it wasn't just because Adam was bored out of his mind or got sick of the dogs or whatever else was there in creation. It was that he was lonely and that God realized that it's good to have people in our lives that can lead us to where we need to be, which is why Eve was called um, his helpmate. Uh, the one who is there to help him. And I think it's something to remember for, for all marriages. That's why marriages are there. Um, you're there to help the other person be who they need to be and bring them to the places that they need to go. Because as we know, the, the journey from here to up there is not always an easy one. And we need other people in our life who can do that for us. Marriage is definitely one of those ways to where uh, the love that brought you here today is supposed to really be that power to drive the two of you uh, to that greatness. So I, I hope uh, for both of you to achieve that greatness uh, in your marriage. St. Francis de Sales has a great quote, I believe it was in his introduction to the devout life, um, to where he touches upon that. He says, truly, it is a blessed thing to love on earth as we hope to love in heaven and to begin that friendship here, which is to endure in heaven. And I think that's something for us to remember, um, yes, in marriage, but in any connection that we make in this life, that it's a love that we hope that we can bring to the ultimate place, um, to always be there with each other forever. So it's a path that the two of you begin to walk down today. Uh, but remember that it's that love that's supposed to now go out in every single day. Uh, as St. Paul has that long list of things that he says of what love is and what love isn't, it's patient, it's kind, it's not inflated. Um, he goes through that whole list of it, and then towards the end, he says something that I think is very true, um, that love endures all things, it bears all things. Um, if we don't have love, if we don't have that, that heart that we're supposed to have, uh, life is going to get rough and life will be difficult. But if we have that true love, um, that does get us through. So my hope for the two of you is that as you watch this video, hopefully 30 to 40 years from now, and say that was a homily, you can go, you know what? Um, Father echoed those words of St. Paul that indeed, uh, love never fails and has not let either of you down. At this time, I invite our bridal parties to, to come up.
Greg and Lauren, you have come You've come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Greg and Lauren, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Greg, I, Greg, take you, Lauren, take you, Lauren to, be my wife. to be my wife. I promise to be true to you, true to you. in good times and in bad, times and bad. In, sickness and in, in sickness and in health. I will love you, will love you. and honor you all the days of my life. I, Lauren, I, Lauren, take you, Greg, take you, Greg to, be my husband. to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. Honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. The rings. May the Lord bless these rings, which you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Amen. If you want to take her ring. Lauren, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Greg, take this ring. Greg, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. All right. Congratulations. I now invite our bridal parties to please uh, return to their pew and um, Greg and Lauren are now going to light the unity candle which is always a symbol of uh, what the two of them have just entered into.
Now, if you please stand for our prayers and petitions. For all the people of Gad, that we strengthen each other mutually in love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people and leaders of all nations, that peace may be theirs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Greg and Lauren, join now in marriage, that their love grows and their commitment deepens every day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the families of Greg and Lauren, that love, marriage, and family life grow stronger, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear for all the lives this family will touch, that people will find love and compassion in their home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. For the families and friends gathered here today, that they continue to enrich Greg and Lauren with love and support, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. For all who have died in the peace of Christ, especially John Balin, Sidney Weldon, Robert Kelly, Patricia Kelly, Joyce Bolds, and Jane Bolds, and the family and friends of all who are gathered here, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we ask you to hear our prayers and to pour out your blessings upon Greg and Lauren. Bless the love that has brought them here today be with them always, so that they may continue to grow in that love and be sources of, of holiness for each other, to lead each other to heaven, where you live and reign forever and ever. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to the Lord that on these his servants, now married in Christ, he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace, and make of one heart and love those he has joined by a holy covenant. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter, Lauren, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her, so that, acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these, your servants, hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, 
they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favor what in your providence you have instituted, so as to make of one heart and love those you have already joined in this holy union, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is now my honor and privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Greg Kaminsky.